There is much attention circulating around artificial intelligence. It seems to have created quite a buzz when it comes to using AI in our coaching and how do we do so ethically. In this episode, we're going to dive into that dynamic world of AI as it relates to building your business and what are some of the things we need to think about? What are some of the things we can optimize when it comes to AI? So let's explore AI as an asset to your business in this episode of The Star Coach Show. Welcome to the show. It's great to have you here. I hope that this new year is off to a wonderful start for you. I'm Meg Grenchler, the host of The Star Coach Show. And as you engage in this new year, I'm going to really encourage you to explore how do you want to be in your business this year? What offerings do you want to create for your audience? What speaking topics might you promote and bring forward to engage with your audience? How are you going to create your messaging, whether it's on your website or in social media, that really brings your audience towards you and creates the kind of growth that you want this year? One tool that has become more and more available to us is artificial intelligence. And while AI can be incredibly useful to us as business owners in areas like streamlining our operations, enhancing customer service, providing data to drive your decisions about how you engage, your product development, many sort of looking down and and big picture things, In this specific episode, I'm going to get a little more concrete and explore some strategies to start small while interfacing with AI, beginning with gaining clarity that helps you build momentum and then take action on those key things that help us increase our visibility, our credibility, and really build our audience. That's where it begins. And whenever we're engaging with something that's new, I believe that it makes sense to start small, to start with those things that are going to create a big bang in our business, and to explore what's working well for us. So in today's episode, we're going to really begin to look at how could we use AI to build that visibility, like I said, to begin to engage. And what do we need to do for those things? We need to do things like increase our social media presence. We need to create compelling lead magnets. We need to flesh out the things that we write, the things that we speak about. We need to create launch series. And many of us, do work through proposals. So how are we crafting compelling proposals that bring business towards us? These are the things that we're going to talk about today when we think about how can we engage with AI tools in a way that breaks the block of things like confusion, indecision, uncertainty, those very things that keep us from taking steps forward. And when we don't take steps forward, we don't get momentum in our business. We don't build the kinds of businesses that we want. And here at the Star Coach Show, we want to be sure that we're building the kinds of businesses that we want. Now, the other question is, how can we engage with AI tools in a way that feels responsible and ethical. So we're going to be talking about that as well. I'm going to be sharing my perspectives today, and I am quite certain that this conversation is going to keep going. I am absolutely certain that I'm going to have some guests on the show who specialize in AI, who are going to bring their perspective from different directions. 
this is a developing resource that we will continue to focus on. But I really felt like here at the beginning of the year, as I'm encouraging you to get your work into the world, using AI in some of these small steps might be a great way to get your creativity going, get you thinking about this, and make the difference that you need in your business to feel confident and compelled to get your work in front of people. Sound like a plan? I think so. Let's do it. So let's start with what exactly is artificial intelligence? Well, AI refers to computer systems designed to mimic human intelligence. So it's around learning. It's around problem solving. It's around recognizing patterns. What's interesting is some of those are the same things that we do as coaches. Now, there certainly is AI in respect to AI actually offering coaching, like people getting coaching through artificial intelligence. That's not the topic of this show today. What we're really looking at today is how are we going to take this tool that is available to us now and use it in some of the aspects that we do in building business, like I talked about before, in writing our proposals, in thinking about the kinds of topics that we want to talk in public speaking about, the ways that we want to engage with social media. So while certainly there are many facets to this whole concept of artificial intelligence, we're chunking it down today and looking at these few elements of business building because I'm hoping that we can get you excited to experiment, to engage, and to see how this impacts your business building activities. So chat GBT exploded on the market and uh, people started talking about it, right? Like, have you used ChatGPT? Oh my gosh, it does this, it does that. And now we're beginning to see AI companions with so many of the platforms that we use every day. I can tell you that my Zoom account now has AI attached to it. My Canva account has AI attached to it. My Searchy account has AI attached to it. I've been a product launch formula owner for years now. That is now an aspect of that, which we're going to be talking about later in the episode as an example. But what I want us to be thinking about is that these changes and opportunities are really amazing. The convenience and the time-saving aspects that artificial intelligence offers are really amazing. And there are so many facets of it. Like I said, we could speak on it for hours with all these different angles and perspectives. If we zero in today on offering a few places to begin to experiment with, much like we do with coaching and we get our clients to experiment with certain areas, then I believe you're going to begin to see an immediate impact to your business, to your confidence in getting your message out. Now, you might be listening and saying, Meg, I've been using AI. That's great. I'm excited about that. But I would still encourage you to hang with us here, listen, explore. There might be some ideas that come up for today's show that you hadn't really thought about yet in how you are engaging with AI. So we're going to dive into these concrete ways that I have personally found to be most valuable to break through that pattern of, oh, it's got to be perfect and what I call the blank paper syndrome, like having that blank screen or that blank paper in front of you and thinking, oh, I don't even know what to write. Or we get we get in that place of, oh, it's got to be written just right. Like that sentence has to be just perfect. And, and so we, we just spin around the same sentence again and again, or don't even know where to begin. That is where I have personally found artificial intelligence to be super helpful for me. To take a blank screen with 
AI and put down, here's some of my expertise. Here's something that I want to bring forward, but I'm all stuck in my head about the way to say it right, the way to bring it forward. So what I like to do is just like give it some here, like I'll might either, I'll say reword, and then I'll just put all these ideas that I have down and it begins to create something that makes sense. And then I feel as though I'm giving value and I have a place to start. But this is the deal about that. What I like to do is just put those ideas down, kind of purge my ideas, have them reworded. What that does, and you know, as I was writing this episode, I was thinking so many of the things that AI does for me is what we as coaches can do for our clients, help me see it through a different lens, help expand the lens that I'm looking through when I get all caught up in what I'm trying to share, but not sure how I want to share it. You know, it, it my lens gets very, very small and I, I get stuck. Well, what does AI do? AI kind of regurgitates back my ideas to me in a diff through a different lens. And that begins to open up my lens. So what that does for me is it gets that flywheel going. It gets me to begin to see my ideas differently. It clears my fog. It gets additional creative juices flowing and gets me to get clearer about what I really want to communicate. Now, this is another caveat for me and the way that I do it. I am not taking what AI gives me and saying, oh, because AI gave this to me, that is a fit for me. No, what it does, once again, for me, is it opens up that lens and then I can get back into my ideas. I now don't have a blank sheet of paper anymore. I've got my ideas given to me far more coherently, usually more concisely often. And then I can say, okay, what do I want to do with these ideas now? Because I want to be sure that they're my own, they're unique, they're my perspective, but my Basically, the dam has broken, right? Like the the flow has begun. So with that perspective, let's look at some concrete ways that can be employed to help you connect with your ideas and getting your ideas in front of your market. So we're going to start with how could using AI help you enhance your social media presence? So one concrete way that you can use AI in building your business is to enhance your social media presence. Now, what would that look like and how could AI help with that? Well, as you know, if you've been following this show, we have had many episodes on the benefits of using social media as well as the frequent pain points that coaches have in trying to engage consistently with social media. Content content creation can be a challenge. What to say, how to say it concisely, how to say it powerfully and really compel the audience and draw them to us. So even though we may know the topic that we want to talk about or the bits of insight that we want to share or the learning we want to bring forward, it might be a challenge to figure out how to say that. Now, the other side of that is there are times that maybe we are stuck and we don't know what we want to say. So then my question to you would be, how clear are you about who your audience is? Because if you're clear about who your audience is, you can ask AI, what are some of the struggles that my audience deals with? If I work with stay-at-home dads who are getting back into the workplace? What are some of the struggles that they have? Because AI can help you begin to identify topics and things that you want to talk about. So whether you have 
ideas already, or you want to generate those ideas through AI, you could then put some of those key things in that you, you know, maybe tips for writing a resume or um, how to get back into the interview flow or how to, you know, maybe there's identity issues that, that, and, and some things that, you know, because you know, your audience, you input those things, you might input some more of the information that you generated and then say, what are 30 days of content for social media with this information? Now, this is the deal. AI is going to generate things for you. And what I strongly recommend that you do from that is take what's generated and make it your own. Look at what really resonates with the message that I want to get out there. What would I tweak or make different? I would really encourage you to put it into your own words. But once again, the value that's coming from the AI bot is that you are getting a structure, you're getting a flow, and then you're able to make it your own. How would you make it your own for social media? Well, maybe you take these these, uh, 30 days worth of content, you make them into your own language, and then add a picture. Uh, Maybe you make a video sequence based upon what's coming from that. And then you put it into social media, either using a scheduler where you put your content in and it goes out on the day and the time that you ask it to go out, or you have those posts ready. You've created because you've got the content. And that's really the hardest part, right? How are we going to bring forward this content? So now we've got the content, have some fun with it, find pictures that go with it, or create videos where you're bringing that content forward, put it into a digital file, and each day upload it to whatever your favorite platform is. Now, I will say, I use a scheduler myself. I use Meet Edgar, and I'll have a a link for that in the show notes if you want to explore Meet Edgar. And I will say that... Many times, Facebook, LinkedIn like you to to upload yourself to their platforms. They give it preferential treatment over a scheduler. So if you've got everything created and ready to go, and you just put on your calendar 10 minutes each day where you're going to upload whatever it is that you've already created, that is a great way to enhance your social media presence. So my challenge for you is to think about if this is if this is the thing that resonates with you, what's your first step? What are you going to do to start generating some of those ideas to input so that you can create the flow and the structure and you can ask for what you want back from whatever AI tool you're using and begin that flow. So this is my first my first concrete step is this could enhance your social media presence. Now, the second thing that I'm a big believer in, I've seen it work, I've done it myself, is that AI can create compelling giveaways. We want to be able to enhance our social media posts, our website, our talks with being able to have giveaways. We want to create lead magnets to build our following, to offer something of value that compels other people to give us their name, their email, so that we can build relationships with them. Because that's what building our businesses is really all about. We want to build relationships with the people who value what we have to say, that we bring value to. Now, what's the value of using your lead magnet in your social media posts? So we just talked about the fact that let's post more, let's get in front of people and offer value to them. 
the value of having a lead magnet attached to that, being able to talk about whatever it is that you are sharing with your audience and say, if you want to know more about this, or you want to know my 10 tips for X, Y, and Z, go to the comments and grab my link to this particular offer giveaway freebie. The value of that is you could have thousands of people connecting with you on social media, really appreciating what you're sharing on social media, but you don't own your followers. In other words, you don't, whatever platform you're on could change their algorithm at any point, could discontinue your your account or go away, whatever, whatever is happening with those people that are following you on that social media account that social media platform has the power over that relationship. And I would like you to be able to nurture and build that relationship with those people. So the aspect of creating a compelling giveaway that you can then attach to your posts, to your website, so that when people come to check you out at the website, they say, oh my gosh, Yes, I would love to have whatever this is that you're offering. That is how you invite people onto your community list so that you are engaging with them. You're nurturing them. You're sending something directly into their email box and able to let them know things, tips and tricks and and. uh, and things that you want to, if you have been following me and have gotten any of my, you know, any of the things that I offer for coaches, what I know now that I wished I'd known 20 years ago, or when I first started coaching, tips for effective communication and ways to help your clients more effectively communicate, any of my giveaways on my website, if you've gotten any of those, you are now in a relationship with me, hopefully, through my weekly emails that I send out, that I let people know about what's on the show. I let people know what's happening in my life. I invite you to engage with me. That is building a relationship. And it's so much easier to do that with people that you're directly connected with. So the compelling getaway. Let's get back to the compelling giveaway as it relates to artificial intelligence. Sometimes and often when I'm working with new coaches in particular, they really struggle with what kind of a giveaway should I create? I struggled with it as a new coach. How am I going to create a giveaway that really brings value to my audience? So once again, As I mentioned in the social media aspects, if you have an audience, but you're still determined or you have a a niche or a group of people that you like to work with, and it might be that it is not niched all the way down, but that you know you want to work with leaders or you know you want to work around relationships or you know you want to work with parents then you can use AI to explore the issues that that market has. What comes up around their pain points, around the things that would bring them value, you can then add your own expertise and experience and think about what do I want to offer that can answer a question for my audience or that can give them a solution to something that can give them a checklist or a ebook or a a short a mini course maybe I'll create a challenge for them on you know a challenge that challenges them step by step to work through something so this is the other thing that AI can help with you can say okay I want to, here's, we've, we've figured out what issues the audience has. I've added my own expertise to that. And I might ask AI, 
what's the best way to offer a giveaway around this particular offer? And they might very well, AI is going to recommend maybe that checklist, that quiz, that ebook, that mini course, and you can begin to structure it out through AI. The thing that I cannot say enough around this whole concept is that it's vital that you customize this to make it your own, to reflect your beliefs, what you know to be true about this audience, what you want to be able to be sharing with your audience. With that, you and AI can be a beautiful companion to create something of real value for your audience. And what makes me light up as a mentor coach, as somebody who believes in coaches getting their value into the world, is that you would create it and it would be complete and you would feel wonderful about it. And you could then begin to invite people into your world, onto your list, into your relationships, because you would have it done. I cannot tell you how many coaches that I've spoken to that just really struggle with this concept of what kind of a giveaway can I create that's really going to bring value to my audience that is valuable enough to them to share their name and email address with me so that I can continue to build a relationship with them. So remember to make it your own. And and I will tell you that this very issue came up in the Star Coach community. We have such a great community and so many ethical and just brilliant coaches in the community. And this we've we've talked several times around these lead magnets creating a compelling giveaway and and the use of AI. I mean, gosh, if you want a place to be able to talk about these very challenges that come up for us as as coaches, then I really recommend that you think about whether it's the Star Coach community or another place where you don't have to just keep it all to yourself. But anyway, I digress. What came up in the community was this question around somebody had been advised to put into an AI tool, you know, I need a lead magnet for X, Y, and Z, and to just copy it from there and brand it as their own and and make it as their own. And, And so we had a robust conversation about the importance of making sure that something really does represent who you are, what you believe, and that it's in your words. Because one of the things about AI is that it is grabbing information from everywhere. So we want to be sure that we're not plagiarizing somebody else's information or specifically using something that has already been sort of created by somebody else. Now, I'm a big believer that this is 2024. There are not new ideas about like there's leadership ideas, parenting ideas. I mean, they are. They are pretty tried and true, but we still want them to be in our language, what we believe to be true and presented through our perspective to those people that we're trying to attract to us. We'll be back to the show right after this message. I invite you to embark upon a journey of collaboration, discovery, and growth with the Star Coach community. In the community, we have so much in store for you. Collaborative learning. Dive into the collective wisdom of fellow coaches and entrepreneurs who share their insights, experiences, and strategies to bring their vision to life and help you create the clarity and vision that you desire to bring that vision to your own life. We have such comprehensive support. In our most recent Q&A session, we covered everything from tax and bookkeeping conundrums to client belief systems, from marketing tactics to skill enhancement. Imagine the wealth of knowledge that is at your fingertips 
when you invest in yourself and in your growth through the Star Coach community, there is such dynamic engagement. Imagine spending just one hour a week with us, whether it is in our Q&A session, a coaching demo, the Star Power Hour, or the community social connection. One hour a week brings your coaching to the forefront, puts it in spotlight, and creates the power of collective genius. Just one hour a week could change everything. So don't miss this opportunity to be a part of something extraordinary. Explore it at starcoachshow.com slash community, starcoachshow.com slash community. Now let's get back to the show. We want to enhance our social media presence and AI can help with that. We want to create compelling giveaways. AI can help with that. We also want to get our word out and sometimes it's not through social media or through our giveaway, but it's through a blog post or we're doing public speaking. And what can happen? Writer's block can happen. It's called block for a reason. How often have you sat looking at a blank screen or a page, trying to get your talk off the ground, trying to kind of create what you want to create? Or if you're a, a blogger or writing an article, that you're just stuck You can't think of the perfect way to get started, the phrase just the way you want to say it, so you end up spinning and stuck in that block. Well, what I love about AI with that is that it's perfectly okay for me to imperfectly put my ideas into AI and then say, reword this and see what comes out. Now, rarely does AI say something exactly the way that I would say it? But what it does is it breaks me out of that blank page paralysis that I'm in. And as I was thinking about this and when I use it, it it struck me that it's very much like using reflection with my clients. When I reflect back the essence of what I believe the client is saying so that they can hear it again, what that does is create additional clarity for the client, even if it's not right, even if they say, no, Meg, it's not that, it's this. What that does is helps them go deeper into their thinking process, their process of working through whatever it is that we're working through. Well, AI is my companion in that when it comes to writing, when it comes to working through my speaking topics, I might ask AI for an outline. I might ask it to reword things for me. But what ends up happening for me is that once again, my lens begins to open up my creativity begins to emerge when I see what it is giving back to me so that then I can turn it into my own words, but it breaks that block. Now, remember, we talked about in last week's episode with Kim Carpenter, how effective public speaking can be as a way to build authority and visibility. And AI really can assist you in both identifying those hot topics that are key to your audience, those trends that your audience is following, and then help you begin to generate those ideas so that you can step fully into that experience, own it, and make it your your words, what you can stand up proudly and talk about. So we can enhance our social media presence. We can create compelling giveaways, really flesh out our writing and our speaking. We can also, for those of you who are asked to submit proposals, you can really craft some dynamic proposals using AI. 
So proposals, in my opinion, are just that gift that keeps giving because they just want more and more information or you need to be able to, you know, provide. If you're filling out a request for proposal, many times there's just one category after another that you have to fill out. What's the description of what you're offering? How do you say that in 100 words? How do you say that in 500 words? What are your proposed approaches and the the desired outcomes? What are your learning objectives? All of those things can be made easier when you input what you're thinking, but then ask AI, how would you say this in 100 words? Or ask AI, How would you describe the learning objectives based upon this? Now, once again, and you're going to be enough already, Meg, you've said this 800 times, but I will say it a thousand times. You've got to make it your own. And yet there is something really dynamic about asking a tool to, you've put in words and say, can you say that again in 100 words? And how many of us, show of hands here, have a really hard time describing ourselves in proposals or in speaking engagements? Like, you know, describe the speaker, your speaker bios, put in your expertise and your experience and let AI create that for you. And then you can really move your proposal from a good proposal to a proposal that might just be irresistible. So craft those dynamic proposals with AI. Now, I wanted to use an example for all of you about an opportunity that we have because there are so many programs coming out with very specific AI programs based upon what they're offering. So what do I mean by that? I have been, as I mentioned earlier, a product launch formula owner for probably 10 years now. That's a Jeff Walker program. I promote his program each year because I believe it's a really dynamic program that can help you thrive. It'll be coming up again and listen to my posts in August because it's going to go live again in August. But this is the deal. This is why I wanted to bring this up today. When you are a part of a program that has a customized artificial intelligence aspect to it, it can make it that much easier. And I want to use PLF as an example. Product launch formula is all about launching a product a particular way. And this past year, they added a customized artificial intelligence aspect to it. Therefore, what it's done is taken artificial intelligence and lined it up with the launch series. So in product launch formula, there are different steps that you take. And with this customized tool, it asks you for particular inputs and it creates this launch series for you with what you've Put in. And this is the key thing. I just want to, I'm bringing this up as an example because I'm sure it's one example of many. As I mentioned, Canva has now come up with their own AI attached to it. I use a program called Searchy that has an AI aspect to it now. Kajabi has an AI aspect to it now. Coach Automator has an AI aspect to it. So the, I'm, I brought up PLF primarily because I think it was so dynamic that this AI tool has been customized to go along with who is, you know, all the way from identifying my or your ideal audience to what are their pain points to how would you create a product for them to how do you launch that product? What does that look like? How are you engaging with your audience? I mean, it's just so dynamic and it, it's such a good example of it. I had to share it with you today because I encourage you to be looking at what are the different AI opportunities in front of you and what best lines up with what it is that you are doing what are you already using? So 
with this, I'm going to encourage everybody, let's start slow. Some of you might already be 90 miles an hour doing this, getting things out. Good on you and keep going. For those of you who are saying, this is kind of new to me. It's a little like, where do I even start? This is what I'm going to recommend. Start with experimenting with different tools that are available to determine what's the right one for me. And where I would encourage you to start with that is what are your already existing platforms? What are you already using and what do they offer? So like I said, recently Zoom has has added AI that brings these customized elements to it. Kajabi does that. Coach Automator does that. What are you already using that they have to offer? And how can you experiment with that? How can you ease into it? What's maybe one element of it that you want to play with? And I will tell you that when I get into playing with these tools, I could be like in them for hours and not even notice because it really is fun to experiment with this stuff. Now, Because so many platforms seem to be jumping on the AI wagon all at once, it can be a bit staggering if you try to do all of them all at once. So the very thing that we're trying to get away from, which is the spin, can actually happen if we're not discerning about like what's what's the thing that might move the needle for me the best? Like what's the platform that makes most sense for me? That's why I lean into PLF because it's just sort of the platform that makes sense for me to use along with these other tools that I have. So I tend to use PLF and Searchy and and those are programs that I use that I recommend, but there are many, Coach Automator is a program that I recommend for coaches who are just getting started. So point being, find that platform that you want to experiment with that makes sense to you and just begin to explore. Now, if you're finding that you're getting overwhelmed or it's not making sense, this might be a place to decide, okay, I want to bring a team member on for even a couple hours a month, a VA or an expert that I can hire for a couple hours a month with some AI expertise that can help me get some traction under my wheels about this. So that's that's a possibility for you. I would encourage you, rather than trying to do all the things that we talked about in the episode today, maybe pick one of the things. What resonated with you? Creating a lead magnet, coming up with some content for social media, maybe determining what kind of a top, uh, maybe you want to create a signature talk and you want to work around that. Pick one thing and experiment with it. Dive into it. Maybe there's something else tantalizing that you've been wanting to create. And and now this talk about what AI can help you do is lighting you up about that. And the other thing that I want you to think about and remember that as professionals, as professional coaches, as partners in this process, we are all bound ethically to bring ourselves forward as ethically as possible. KPMG did a U.S. CEO survey where, according to these CEOs, they said the ethical challenges were the top obstacle to successfully implementing generative AI, and that was followed by costs and then technical skills. So the reality is, this is new, and it's untested in many ways. So how we want to engage in a way that we feel above board that we feel engaged. Like I said, my own community kind of brought this out as how do we do this ethically? What I believe and what has helped me through this process is that I want to be really certain that the information I'm sharing is my information. I'm not stealing information from other people. So the more I input into AI that is my information, the more confident I am that I'm being ethical in what's being created because I'm looking at what I'm putting in and I'm also recreating that content up after what comes out. So really kind of creating my Meg information to my audience, yet understanding that, you know, 
leadership concepts. And um, none of these things are going to be unique per se to me, but I do want them to be in my wording, in my message. If something feels particularly like it might be a quote or something coming out of AI that you think, hmm, I'm wondering if that's something that somebody said specifically, maybe it's a phrase or something that looks like, gosh, is that something that's copyrighted or something? Copy it, put it into Google and see what comes out. Does it come out attributed to a particular person? Does it come, uh, does it go directly to somebody's product? then certainly don't use that wording. You can use themes, but you want to be sure that you're not stealing somebody else's content. Be transparent about if if you're using something or a quote, you might say, this was AI generated. Transparency is something that I think creates, creates trust and safety. And then I would encourage you to stay aware of updated ethical standards, guidance. As time goes on, we're going to get more and more from this. We're going to learn more as we go along. So stay informed, stay invested in your own growth and learning as a coach. As we wrap up today's show, I just want to emphasize that AI is not just a new technology and it's not going to go away. It's here to stay. So how can you help make it a strategic asset to be innovative in your business, to grow your business, to help you get your message in front of people? Let's all say it together. I can't be a secret and a success at the same time. You hear me say it again and again. You will hear me say it again and again as we move forward. AI has the ability to provide you with that edge needed to bridge the gap, right? To close that gap and get your message in front of your market. When you harnessed AI for dynamic social media strategies, for personalized lead magnets, for magnetic blogs and speaking, to create those compelling proposals and successful launches, You're going to position yourself as the coach in your market that people really want to work with. Remember, the key to using AI successfully is to integrate it into your business practices while keeping your own uniqueness in the equation. Your own humanness and genuine desire to help your clients thrive through the information you believe is going to be helpful for them. My challenge for you is to not put it off any longer. Get out there, play with it. Give yourself grace and patience to learn and see what works well for you. And oh my goodness, let's have fun with it. The world awaits you. AI is just a part of our world now. So thanks for listening. Jump into the challenge. Let me know what you try. If you like what we do here on the Star Coach Show, please subscribe wherever you're listening and leave a rate and review. The more positive reviews we receive, the more the visibility of the show gets and people are drawn to us because I don't want to be a secret either. Now, come back next week as I'm eager to introduce you to Ben Kirk all the way from Australia. He is a productivity and high performance expert, and we're going to be talking about meeting goals and creating habits that help us hit it out of the park. So until next week, this is Meg Rentschler wishing you the very best for your coaching success. Have a fantastic week. (music) 